I've always been very, how can I say, sporadic with my behavior. In prom, in like what, 20, 2009, a one class clown. <laughs> that says it all, you see what I'm saying? My teachers was like, you need to know X, Y, and Z. And from day dot, I've always screamed, bro, I understand that, but I don't think I'm ever gonna need trigonometry. I'm not trying to make jokes. <laughs> I'm not trying to, do you see what I'm saying? I'm trying to entertain. I'm trying to build, create. I'm trying to make people see, you know, different things as funny. Do you see what I'm saying? So you felt like that back then in school? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Did you feel like there was somewhere, an outlet? Like, you know, you have social media now. Did you have anything to kind of put that creativity into use at that time? So I used to be a dancer. Yeah. Um, I was dancing for a very long time. Um, and... Do you know what it was? You see with the dancing thing, um, how can I say? It was just a way for me to express that I want to create things, whether it be through movement or something else I wanted to create. Even before I was a dancer, I used to do art. Like from when I was like seven years old, I wanted to be an architect. Up to this day, I'm like 30 years old. Mum's still telling me, when God build me my house. What? I'm just like, mum, look, just, yeah, do you get what I'm saying? I don't want to be an architect anymore. Um, I want to be able to build you that house in another way. And one day I'm going to be able to do that. Um, and I hope to fulfil that promise. You know what I'm no, that's good. That's good. Um, dancing, what have you kind of danced in? Anything that we might have seen? Uh, so a lot of things in general. So I was in Michael Dapper's Man Don't Dance. I was in Tory Lane's and Nave Small's video. I was in um, Vossi Bop by Stormzy, I was in um, a, a few Mr. Easy music videos, Shata Wale, um, quite, quite a few people in general. Um, and do you know what the funny thing about that is? The main way that I was even getting on these music videos, it's just be, it was just being a vibe, it was just being a character. People were just like, we want people for this video you don't need to be the greatest dancer in the world, but can you bring AJ? Okay. And it was, it was literally just because I was just a very charismatic character. And I'll, I'll be very honest, I think in terms of almost all the music videos that I've done, I've probably gotten like a, a main feature where you see my face and it's me doing some type of move with every single one of them. And again, it's because of my energy, because I'm a character. You see anything crazy behind the scenes or as a dancer working on set? Uh, I see a lot of cattiness. Um, what do you mean? So, obviously in the dancer's world, the way it kind of works, it depends on what side you're actually on. So for example, um, a lot of dancers, as far as I understand, in the main dancing world where they actually dance and all that kind of stuff, would look at people that do TikTok dances and think that's not dancing. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's like that type of catty stuff that's in there and some people are upset that this is in the dance and some people are upset that that's in the dance and this is saturated by this and this and... It just causes a bunch of friction. And then obviously you've got, you've got some really, really good dancers which have gotten to some amazing levels. And it's not that they necessarily make shit on people, it's just they, there's a bit of a, a hierarchy that is made known. You see what I'm saying? So it's not, um, it's not the best thing in the world, but through, through being in that dance world, there's a lot of amazing people. There's a lot of beautiful people. It's just the small people that jump in there and kind of ruin it for everyone else. Yeah, yeah. Is it, is it just kind of like a clash? Did they get into fights or anything like that? Or I personally haven't seen any fights. I've heard about some fights. I personally right. haven't seen any fights though. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, as I said, it's one of those, it's one of those really catty, catty kind of things. Um, that just, and, and again, it's a, small, it's a small number of people that are ruining it for everyone else. You still dancing now? Yes. <laughs> in a party. Okay, so just you know for that personal... Yeah, enjoyment. A, a, a festival, a party, you might get the one, two step. That's about it. I'm not body popping no more, man. I ain't doing the. So I say, I ain't, I ain't breaking money. I ain't, do, I ain't doing none of that no more. You might see me little, do a little one, two step or something like that. Um, but yeah, I would love to get back into it. But um, I'm just busy, man. So do you do like the social media dances? Because there's a lot of TikTok dances that go around and get viral. Do you? Never. You don't indulge there in There is a fly that is trying to attack, man. No, I never still. I don't think I've, I don't think I've, 
I think maybe I think I maybe done one video where I attempted to join some kind of dance, and it didn't go anywhere. So I was just like, actually, you know what? Let me not. Let me just just skip that. And you know when you know when you get to a certain point in life and you just know that certain things just need to be left in the past and you just move, need to move to something else. Yeah. That was one of those things. I just need to kind of move it away and focus on something that um, that is a lot bigger.